Hello and welcome to the course Content-Based Instruction or CBI. This course was produced by World Learning and our School for International Training SIT Graduate Institute. My name is Dr. Kara McBride and I was the lead designer of this course out of a team of several experts in English as a Foreign Language, EFL, and Content-Based Instruction, CBI. In this video, I want to welcome you and also tell you a little bit about the course. Now, if you've read the syllabus already, you'll see that we describe this course as one that was made for EFL teachers who now are teaching CBI courses, or will soon teach CBI courses. The syllabus also talks about the difficult balance that we CBI teachers have to find between language instruction and content instruction. And the syllabus goes on to talk about this difficult balance, and it says that this course is intended to help participants meet those challenges by guiding participants through a series of practical, hands-on activities which are supported by necessary background and theoretical information to prepare participants for future decision-making and problem-solving in the areas of CBI. So you will work through these practical, hands-on activities and you can do them in such a way that you will have lessons and activities that you can use right away in your CBI course. As you're working through these activities and thinking about that difficult balance between language teaching and content teaching, you have the opportunity in this course to discuss these issues with your instructor and also with the other participants in this course you will find that the other participants in this course are one of the most valuable resources of this course because there are other professionals like you with important experiences and they're from all over the world. So you'll really find that the more you participate in the discussions and the more you put into the course, the more you get out of the course. Your participation in this course we estimate will take about seven hours per week. Now, if you don't have the ability or it's not easy for you to be online seven hours a week, that's okay. What you can do is download the module packets. The module packets are PDF files that contain all of the readings for each module. Where can you find these module packets? What you need to do is go to the main page where there are all the modules. And at the beginning of each module, there's a module overview. And there you'll find the link for the module packets. In this course, you'll encounter a number of technical terms. For example, CBI. So since there are a lot of technical terms in this course, we gathered them all up and we put them in a glossary. The glossary can be found right above module one on the main page of the modules. You'll be able to identify one of these technical terms in a reading because it will be in bold. It will be in bold in the reading and then you can find it in the glossary too. Another thing you can find is suggested further readings. So sometimes you'll be reading about a topic and you'll want to know more. You'll want to read and explore more. And because of that, what we've done is at the end of most of the readings, there are first the reading, then the references that we used, and then below that, a list of suggested further readings. So they're optional, but do check them out to see if there's something that you want to read either now while you're doing the course or perhaps sometime in the future. And speaking of future, another very important theme in this course is cascading new knowledge. These activities run from module two to the end of the course 
and they will have you explore ways that you can continue your professional development and the professional development of others by sharing with others what you've learned in this course and by collaborating with other professionals. So in this course, what you have to look forward to is an exciting, challenging, and very rewarding experience working with other EFL teachers and experts from all over the world. Are you ready? So our first activity is going to look at some of these terms that we should know as we're talking about CBI. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> 